Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Meteorologist Zach Scott here alongside Chief Meteorologist Austin Bowling. We do have meteorologists Katie Western and Matt DePiro out in the field tracking storms today. And we do have a thunderstorm warning here for Tillman County. The storm is getting ready to move into the Frederick area. It's moving off towards the northeast at 25 miles per hour. It's kind of built up some intensity here last 30 minutes. Right now it's being warmed for the possibility of 60 mile per hour wind gusts. That is a damaging wind gust, so you'll want to move into the interior of your home and uh, hang out away from windows. Also could see it getting up to around a half dollar size hill. So we're going to continue to track this storm as it moves into central and northern Tillman County, eventually down the line moving into western and west central portions of Comanche County. This is the strongest storm here in the viewing area. Any of these under other isolated thunderstorms right now could produce some small hail and some gusty winds. So we'll have to continue to watch all of these showers developing along this broken line just out to the east of a dry line. We do have a thunderstorm warning far northern portions of the viewing area that's just outside the viewing area. So we're going to let that continue to move out again. Strongest storm right now. It's about an hour and a half away from Lawton. It's moving into the Frederick area. Could see half dollar size hell and possibly around 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So move indoors, move away from the windows and uh, hang out as this storm will pass by. We'll continue to keep you updated. Follow us on Facebook. We'll get you back to the basketball game. Keep it here on Channel 7. Remember, you can count on us. All right, meteorologist Zach Scott here back to give you another update. Chief meteorologist Austin Bowling is alongside. And again, we have meteorologist Matt DePiro and Katie Western out in the field tracking these storms. Uh, we do have a tornado watch for pretty much all of Texoma until 9 p.m. Anywhere in or to the outside of these counties could see strong to severe thunderstorms uh, capable of producing damaging hail, damaging wind gusts, and an isolated tornado will be possible. Uh, pretty much looking at a window from now through the rest of the afternoon into the early evening hours. So keep that in mind. We do have a couple warnings, so we're going to have Austin jump over to Storm Tracker 3D, get a live look here. We'll start with the southern storm, uh, the one in Tillman County. We do have a new warning for that one. It's still in Tillman, uh, but they've changed the speed of it, picked it up now to 45 miles per hour to the east northeast. Uh, so it's kind of picked up a little speed here. It's being warned for possibility of 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, if you're just joining us, that is a damaging wind gust that can snap power lines break tree branches and even knock trees over into your home. So get away from the windows, hang out in the interior of, of your home. That's going to be around Goodyear at 537, Cameron uh, University 543 uh, Airport at 544. Uh, and can we do Elgin something on the east side of Lawton at 6.01 p.m.? If it continues on this track around 45 miles per hour, possibly quarter size hell, the stronger hell core is to the north with this storm is actually splitting. Now, the northern edge of the storm did report golf ball size hell in the Snyder community. It does look like it has dropped that hell core. That's some good news. But with the situation we have in place, these storms will be able to gather more strength and possibly could see that uh, pick up some more hell as it moves off towards the north around 50 miles per hour. So we're going to see if we have enough room uh, to put a track on that. Uh, it's going to be around Godibo, 533, Lake Valley, 541, uh, Cloud Chief at 548, Cowden at 549. There's Godibo uh, for you there in Kiowa County. Moving quickly to the north, again, does have a history of golf ball size hail. Appears it's dropped that. Could see it pick back up as it moves north. A little bit more of a wider view here. We have a broken line of thunderstorms uh, pushing into central Texoma. We've got a cluster of thunderstorms working their way in far southern areas. We'll likely see that track to the east, northeast. So Wichita Falls, you'll have a good shot at that. Still a cell trying to get going uh, down around Seymour. So keep it here on Channel 7. We're going to continue to track these storms as they continue to push into an environment that is unstable, a lot of moisture, some instability. So we still have a chance through the rest of the late afternoon and into the evening hours to see these storms being strong to severe as they push into central and eastern Texoma. So keep it here. A new thunderstorm warning I want to bring to your attention. We have a thunderstorm warning for this cell moving through northeastern Tillman County. It will be moving off towards the east, northeast into southwestern Comanche. A lot, and we are down the line from this. It does have the possibility of up to tennis ball size hail right now and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And we are noting some rotation with this storm, so we're going to continue to monitor that. No uh, reports of a wall cloud funnel or anything like that, but we are noting the rotation. We actually have meteorologists Matt DePiro and Katie Western just to the south of that storm uh, monitoring that for us. So that's good news. Uh, Goodyear 608, Eisenhower 6610, uh, downtown Lawton at 620, uh, the airport around 620. Heads up, this storm is moving to the east around 25 miles per hour. Again, damaging wind gusts around 60 miles per hour, and we could have tennis ball size hell. This storm to the north has a history of re, uh, dropping 
uh, damaging hell round uh, Snyder golf ball size, and it's actually uh, been worn now for the possibility of baseball size hell. And so this scan is already a couple minutes old, so we could be seeing some damaging hell already likely moving into the Saddle Mountain area and areas just off towards the west along the highway there. So heads up to areas like Carnegie. Uh, that's really getting into our northern boundary of the viewing area, so we want to give those guys a heads up. A sedan 529, Godibo 538, Mountain View 540, Lake Valley at 547, and then there's Mountain View around a 540. Heads up to you, damaging hell and some strong wind gusts, possibly 60 miles per hour could do some damage. So you're going to want to move indoors, away from windows, hang out as that cell passes. Uh, we do have a new thunderstorm warning for Baylor County here around Seymour. That one's tracking off towards the northeast around 30 miles per hour. Austin uh, could see your baseline thunderstorm warning right here, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hell. But this storm is really intensified here quickly. So if it does continue to grow, we'll likely see new warnings coming out and they'll have to up that. But right now, uh, moving off towards the northeast, Grayback 602, Rock Crossing 602, and uh, Herald at 620. This storm will likely continue to move to the north northeast, Electra down the line, and then even areas like Tillman County again, maybe Comanche County down the line. Broken line of storms continues to move into central Texoma, getting closer to the I-44 corridor. We'll continue to move eastward as we go into the evening hours. Keep it here on Channel 7. We'll have more updates coming up. Cheers, so we'll continue to monitor that. What else have we got, Zach? Also, just more flooding on 52nd Street. We're seeing the rain getting it's ready to come to, to a close there, there, so that's yes. good news. Um, and then possibly seeing golf ball size reports uh, coming in with the storm down uh, in Tillman County. Okay, well. so we have golf ball reports now. And uh, was there a, a location on that hail coming in from Tillman County? Davidson and Hollister area. So a large area possibly seeing some damaging hail. Again, so if you're just east of Frederick,